So the neat thing is this becomes a destination. The members that we attract are, are some of them are household names in terms of, of their levels of success. One of the things that's key to these, these types of developments is uh, the philanthropy that goes along with it. Some of the biggest um, charitable providers in the, not only in the city, but the state, but even the country are members. So we can, do, we can really help foster the local community and give back in a way that I think has been unseen here. The proximity is key. Um, there's other clubs, but they're three, four, five hours away, and proximity was key, and to, to be in Metro Phoenix is important, but there's things that, that, that stand in the way, and a couple of the biggest are the cost of the land. So, yeah, would it be neat to have this in downtown Phoenix, for example, that'd be great, but the, the price of the value of the land isn't, uh, doesn't justify that. When we discovered the land, the El Dorado land in the city of Maricopa, it was literally, it had a mountainous backdrop behind it on the north side. Um, it sat between a, a, a landfill and auto recyclers with farming around it, right? So it was an ideal setting and the, the cost was appropriate. And, and I gotta tell you, the experience that we've had with coming to Maricopa, even on our first visits, was overwhelming. The, the people that we met, um, just on our initial trips and then it being introduced to the city council members and some of the city staff, it's just been a very welcoming and enjoyable experience. What they're trying to do, what Atessa is trying to do in Casa Grande is, the, the analogy is that they're trying to build Anthem and we're, we just want a golf course, right? So um, ours is, is much more bite-sized, compartmentalized. It's, it's uh, very specific in what we're trying to do. We're just trying to solve one aspect of motorsports, which is a country club. It's not a sanctioned racing facility. There's not going to be formal racing, spectators, things of that nature. Ours is just catering to a select group of individuals that want to experience that hobby. No different than a golf country club. So we've got about a 35 acre campus that, that sp spreads all the way north to the wash line there. Um, and this is sort of the southern point of it. The rest of this is actually race truck. So between here and the highway, effectively, is the racing surface. And that goes all the way. The property's about a mile wide. So in terms of, of magnitude, the race course of being two and a half miles, just under, um, there's a lot of area here. There's not 33 750 horsepower NASCARs running around an oval for two hours. It's gentlemen racing with sports cars, and, and a lot of them have race cars. I'm not going to discount that. While those cars may be present, um, it's not it's not three hours of racing, it's 20 minutes of racing, for example. And the other thing too is, and this is really important to note, we fall within the noise code for the city. The closest residents being about a mile and a half, we still fall underneath the noise ordinance. In terms of the traffic, um, like I said, it is a private, a private facility. There aren't 5,000 people coming out on Saturday. The most we may have is a couple hundred over a whole span of a day isn't going to make an impact and that's probably very infrequent. That's actually our worst case scenario. More frequently it's a handful or a couple dozen people out there. So one of the first things we did was we met with uh, the chairman of Akchin and, uh, the, and the mayor and I and we presented the, the project and one of the things he liked about it was Southern Dunes is really trying to attract a lot of this type of clientele from other parts of the valley. They want to reach into Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, Phoenix, Glendale, for example, and get those people down there. They have a, a remarkable course. You know, it was just rated um, the top course in Arizona, number five in the country as a public course. And the, the types of people that we attract also are great golfers. So I think there's a harmonious relationship that we can establish, um, first and foremost, that really augments each other um, because there, our guys are going to drive past Southern Dunes to get to our property and why not do some events where we're doing golfing and and the other thing is you know if you look at Gila River for example they have a championship course next to a racetrack and in fact they have two courses and so golfing and racing 
um, don't have to be completely segregated. And the third point, we fall within the noise limit, so we actually don't affect them all that bad.